Leader X brings together Africa's top executives, professionals and entrepreneurs for one day to share their knowledge and insights, as well as to offer advice to the next generation. This year's gathering is happening today at the Santon Convention Center. And joining me in studio is co-founder of Joomla, Johan Janssen. It's good to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Good morning. All right. First, talk to me about Joomla. What is that all about? Uh, Joomla is a, an open source content management system. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a system that's very simple. It's a system to build websites with. Okay. Uh, and open source meaning that it's freely available. Um, you can just download it for free. It doesn't cost you anything and you can get started to build your own website. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So that was, I mean, there are a lot of those different kinds of websites yeah. out there. What sort of differentiates this from it? Well, I think we started 12 years ago um, building Joomla as a community of people all over, all over the world. And today Joomla takes about 3% of all the sites on the internet. Yeah. So we grow quite, quite large. It's, it's incredible because, I mean, Jim, you know, having your own website in this day and age, if you're a company that doesn't have a website, I, I'm not sure that you sort of, <laughs> you're part of this century. Yeah. And that's the reality. You have to have a good online presence. Uh, it's very important to be online. People are looking you up online. Uh, they're going to search for your name and see what comes up. So if you don't have a website, it's almost like you're non-existing online. That's, that, that's the reality. Sure. How did you come up with the idea and the concept for this open source management? Well, 12 years ago when, when we started, there was no Facebook, there was no Twitter yet. Uh, and those systems that were very expensive, they were very enterprise and very expensive systems. So we basically started uh, bringing people together to, to build a comment management system that was, that was cheaper, that was easier and, and simpler to use. And uh, this is where, uh, where Joomla gr grew from uh, initially. How do you protect it though? I mean, you've got your website. So, and I mean, I know I've fallen victim to it myself. I mean, I've just had my website being brought down by whoever it is, these guys out there that sort of, you know, they managed to get into the security systems of your website, pull them down and, and then you are left vulnerable. What sort of support do you offer to people that use Joomla? Well, because we're not necessarily a, a commercial entity, people are responsible for doing that on their own. They can okay. download our software, they can install it. But there are a lot of partners in the ecosystem that provide hosting, that provide security, that provide uh, services to help you with those problems. Yeah, I mean, you get, you get companies like WordPress um, and yourselves. And again, I, I suppose I've already asked you this, but just more specifically, uh, the, the differentiation between the two of you. Well, WordPress, I think, originally started a little bit more as, as a blogging platform. Uh, the idea there was, I want to put my own information out, I want to blog, I want to put my news out. Joomla started a little bit more as a content management system. I want to create a company website, I want to create an intranet, I want to create an e-commerce website. Uh, it's a little bit more powerful in that sense. It makes yeah. it a little bit more complex, but it, it makes it a, a, a lot more powerful. Yeah, excellent. Well, I mean, you're here in South Africa for LeaderX. Talk to us about this. Um, what, what is LeaderX all about, really? Well, LeaderX is, a, 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 as I understand, it, one of the big conferences here that brings together entrepreneurs, uh, people from local people, but also people from abroad, different or local organizations uh, that are coming together to help aspiring entrepreneurs in, in South Africa find their way, basically. Yeah, which is, which is so great because, I mean, you know, you... I imagine have lots of people coming in and particularly when it comes to the African continent I mean this is a and it's an emerging market for most businesses uh, do you have much business here on the continent no uh, not at all not I was, at all I was invited through, through the network by an organization called Simodisa uh, which is uh, focusing on uh, creating the em emerging ecosystem here and they're looking for uh, industry experts and this is how I got invited. It's my first time here in uh, South That's Africa. That's amazing. And I mean, I, I, I suppose asking you the question, have you managed to have a look at, um, at well, South Africa or Africa in general, just in terms of our, our digital progression and how we are doing? Have you looked at it at all? Um, can I ask you specific questions about that? <laughs> you can try. But, um, I'm still trying to figure it out a little bit. I've, I've done a lot of work in Asia and I see a lot of similarities between the two. Uh, it's a lot of um, emerging uh, technologies is emerging here. Uh, the culture around startups is emerging. People are slowly starting to understand what entrepreneurship is, what the different key aspects are that need to come together to actually build build businesses. Yeah, yeah, which, which, is, which is exactly what it's all about. And I think one of the big issues that you find that a lot of people and corporates are fighting right now is the cost of data, because in South Africa, it is astronomical. And, and we really are fighting that. I'm, I'm sure you're going to hear these conversations uh, very loudly coming out at LeaderX. But from your experience around the world, I mean, have you seen the cost of data dropping significantly now? Is it something that people are demanding? 
Yeah, I think the, the cost of uh, of data and the cost of uh, of, of of internet and inf internet infrastructure has dropped significantly. Yeah. When we started 12 years ago with Juma, that's one of the reasons why we started. It was very very expensive to uh, to run the enterprise systems, and with Juma you could do almost the same for free. Uh, 12 years later, hosting and 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 data storage has become very very cheap at least uh in europe and in america i think the same here too yeah well that's yeah that's something we're battling that's the reality and i and i do believe that a lot of those issues are going to be brought up uh in leader x that'll be happening uh when is it happening today does today, it start yes, today i'm speaking this afternoon excellent is it a one day only yes okay so yourself do you know any of the other speakers that are going to be gathering there no no not. i'm sure not you're an invited speaker yeah. unfortunately we were actually meant to be uh, uh joined as well by one of the the organizers and and uh, uh, the head of SME at MTN Business, uh, Lindile Toko. Uh, unfortunately, she couldn't make it to the interview. So I think that was going to be a, a great discussion about some of the workshops that they'll have and some of the other speakers. But um, it's great to have you here. And I think Thank that you. you'll, you'll offer a wealth of knowledge to those that are attending. And thanks okay. for popping by to talk to us. You're most welcome. All right. Um, that's uh, the co-founder of Joomla, Johan Janssens. Uh, they are masterclass speakers at this year's LeaderX Expo at the Santon convention center. All right, let's take a break. We'll see you after this.